so we are starting in 30 more seconds just wait 30 more seconds to start let me share my screen and i hope everybody received the notes if any one of you haven't received the notes yet please ping me please let me know if you not received the notes yet read the notes and again i'm repeating only my notes are enough other than my notes please don't read anything that is more than enough for you to crack any interviews and to understand the concept as i told in the last session as well that my speed is a little bit faster for first maybe two more sessions and maybe total five sessions then we'll be slow according to you second let me join it and i expect everybody will create already create an account of livesql.oracle.com if anybody still have any issue and not able to create the account on livesql.oracle.com please ping me separately if you still have any problem and not able to create the account okay so let's start <clears throat> Okay, so thank you for joining. Today is our third session, right? And uh, we already discussed four, four hours of class last weekend, and I hope you all definitely get something from the sessions. So this is what my expectation to all of you to try to give something which can help you for you in, in your learning. And definitely when you learn, then only able to crack the interviews. Remember one thing to everyone, right? If you want to learn, the only thing is nobody can teach you it means neither me nor any youtube videos nor any google you have to go to a company where the reason is when you get when you get a live project where you have millions of data real-time data real-time scenario in front of you then actually your actual learning comes into the picture when you try to implement the things whatever you learn whenever you get a chance to implement them on actual data then only you actually going to learn database what exactly database is and how you have to write the sql or PL SQL or procedure or function or triggers or anything. So we have to learn it. That's why I'm telling you focus on the base concept. What is the base concept is in every day project, 40% of the work is related to the base concept only. Last session, we learned about tables, right? What are tables, different types of tables. We learn about dropping a column. We learn about setting and used. We learn about adding. We learn about how to when we change the data type, then what happened? How to modify? We learn about that. Then also we learn about virtual columns. We learn about invisible columns. We learn about negative decisions. We learn about delete and truncate. We learn about high watermark. And remember this, right? What I told you in the last session, that high watermark you have to answer. Interviewer will ask you difference between delete and truncate. And that question is very, very, very complex question difference in delete and truncate. Almost everyone get this question in interview difference between delete and truncate. But when you are answering, you have to answer the same line. However, I'm giving you right everyone. I hope so. They already expect me uh, to receive the notes right in the notes notes too. Do you all able to see my screen? Can anyone confirm? Yes, yes. Okay. In, in the last notes, I told you right difference between delete truncate drop. These are very common question. See, my notes are not any pdf or very straightforward notes you are finding somewhere on the google you can find here spelling mistake you can find here grammar mistake right grammatical mistake is possible spelling mistake is possible i'm trying to deliver my experience to all of you okay to so go through these and ask me if any doubt anybody has okay so here in this you remember line number six and line number seven these always comes in the last so that when you see in the last truncate will reset SWM, delete will not. So interviewer will ask you that what is SWM, right? And then when, when they ask you what is SWM, you must know what to explain all this, right? We we'll discuss about these questions. We we'll discuss about the how SWM is moving, right? This question we discussed, my table contains 10 million of record. I deleted 9 million. 10 million report, I deleted 9 million or 1 million record, I deleted 90% of the record. It's still queries taking the same amount of time because of high watermark is not reset. Every question in performance tuning, few questions are they just want to test you. Do you really understand it or not? The concept of delete and truncate. We learn about delete truncate, we learn about high watermark, we learn about this question, the table at 10 million record, how to delete 5 million. These are the steps, the steps you have to follow. Okay, that's it. This is what we learn. Anybody ask anything? So you have to send your email ID banquet on the on the group. Do you have do are you on my WhatsApp group? Any of the group? Banquet? Yes, I am in the group SQL one. 
if you if you are in the my group you have to send the link to me otherwise noted i'm noting it down i'm sending it to you don't worry i will send you okay let's come back and let's start today we are going to learn today we are going to learn the concept of keys right concept keys are so important like almost everybody get confused when the question comes what is super key what is candidate key what is alternate key what is surrogate key what is primary key what is unique key right what right and what what is composite key so when this time what is foreign key when these questions are coming most of people get confused everybody knows the answer of primary key unique key but 90 percent public get confused when the question comes that what is super key what is candidate key what is alternate key what is surrogate key so it gets confused that what is key so we are going to learn key today and again i'm telling you just blindly focused on me whatever i'm saying right if you have any question comes in your mind you can definitely ask but listen how to answer focus on the concept what exactly concepts are whenever i'm talking about whenever i'm talking about keys keys means you have to find out right remember this one line keys means who can open the lock right remember this is what the key means the general meaning of key means what who can open the lock is the key right agree everyone any doubt simple pure english key means who can open the lock agree agree anyone yes sir yes sir. little bit we have to talk in the in the session so it's good okay so when talking about keys remember this level line what i'm going to say every key the key means who can able to uniquely identify the data key means which is used to uniquely identify the data is the key either it is a primary key composite key unique key candidate key surrogate key any key you are talking about key means which is used to uniquely identify the data super key used to uniquely identify the data candidate key used to uniquely identify the data surrogate key used to uniquely identify the data primary key used to uniquely identify the data unique key used to uniquely identify the data alternate key used to uniquely identify the data so the first definition of any key is key which is used to uniquely identify the data that is called the key uniquely identify uniquely identify means what if i am saying suppose for example okay take an example we can go to an example first then you understand it suppose suppose my name is vishal it is very it is very common name in north india if you go to every class you definitely get so many uh, people in the vishal name vishal suppose in the class teacher is teaching something into the class and the teacher say that vishal is scored 50 out of 50. suppose teacher say vishal is scored 50 out of 50. In the class, there are three Vishals, maybe Vishal Jaiswal, maybe Vishal Singh, maybe Vishal Gupta. Teacher just say the first name, Vishal is called 50 out of 50. Then it is confusing, you don't know who Vishal, because there are total three Vishal, Vishal Jaiswal, Vishal Singh and Vishal Gupta. Three students in the class whose name is Vishal. If three people is Vishal, means the teacher's statement is not able to uniquely identify the, the student of the class. Agree till here? The teacher's statement is not able to uniquely identify the student of the class. Teacher just say that Vishal is scored 50 out of 50. I'm not able to identify who is the Vishal. So this is not the key. Key means who can open you, who can able to identify uniquely. For example, if you see this here, I'm writing query. Select a star from HR dot employee. When I'm writing select star dot HR dot employees, I can see so many reports into the table. I'm going and writing where department underscore id is equal to 90 for example against any column any condition i am getting multiple row it means this is not a key key means which is used to uniquely identify the data unique key i remember i've just discussed about key i'm coming to the each and every point key means which is used to uniquely identify the data suppose i'm writing here department id 90 and manager underscore id is equal to 100 again there are still two columns and two right two things i'm trying to do still i'm getting two rows i'm not able to identify the unique data and suppose for example i'm writing and salary is equal to 100,000. and understand the concept of keys today everyone and for example i'm writing job id is equal to advp Four columns I'm using one, two, three, four. Still, I'm getting the two rows. I'm not getting one row. Until unless your query does not give you one row, 
it means you haven't got the key yet. Suppose then I'm writing, for example, and first name is equal to, and first name is equal to, suppose Nina. I'm running the query. Now my query gives you one row. This is a key. These five column combination is the key. Now let's learn about which key. Super key, candidate key, primary key, alternate key, unique key, or composite key. So let's see. This is the base definition. Any key is, if you're talking about any key, any key means the base concept of the key is, key means who can open the lock. Who can open the lock. This person is key. Now, for example, you can see this here. Sorry. For example, you can see this here. Till here, I'm getting only one name, only one column. Let me add one more condition and last name is equal to. Achha. I'm still getting only one row. Okay. Still, it is unique key. It is uniquely identify the data. And email is equal to this. Again, uniquely identify the data. This is called super key. Super key is the biggest form. Super key is a set of one or more column that is used to uniquely identify the data. Every keys are a subset of super keys. Super key is on the top. Inside super key, we have primary key, we have unique key, we have alternate key. These all are super set. Or you, sorry, these all are subset of super keys. Subset of super keys. What is key? Key means which you use to uniquely identify the data. Suppose a table contains 10 columns. If I write all 10 columns here, and this and this and this and this and i want to get one unique data all 10 column combination that is called super key candidate key suppose i am removing this column one still i am getting one row unique data candidate key candidate key is set of one or more field column that uniquely identify a table there are multiple candidate key in the table this is also a candidate key this column combination, department ID, manager ID, salary, job ID, first name, last name. The six column combination is a unique key, sorry, is a candidate key. I remove this. Again, I'm running. Still, I'm getting one row. This five column combination is also called a candidate key. If I remove this, control X, now it's giving me two rows when there is no key. Control Z, till here I'm running, that is called candidate key. Let me repeat to all of you one more time. Key means which is able to uniquely identify the data. That is called key. Key means uniquely identify the data. Means my query can give me only one record. That is called key. Any time this question comes in the interview, what is the difference between super key, candidate key, candidate key, primary key, candidate key, surrogate key. Any question comes, you always start with this line. Remember, how to answer is very important. What to answer? It is written on Google. If I just go Google here and just write it here, what is super key? It will give me definition. Super key in RDBMS. It will give me definition. What is what to answer? That is written everywhere. How to answer? That matters. Interview if you want to get selected. So always remember, key means the one or more field of columns which is used to uniquely identify the data uniquely means when i run the query it give me only one row uniquely identify just this query this query will give me one row that is uniquely identify this all column combination if i use i get one data if i remove this combination for example control x i'm getting two records it means this is not a key Department ID, manager ID, salary, and job ID. These four column combination is not a key. But when I add one more column, first name, this is used to uniquely identify data. This is called a key. If I add one more column, one more column, suppose all the column combination I can make, I can make a super key. Super key means the column of combination, super key is a set of one or more keys which can use to uniquely identify the data is called super key. Suppose in a table we have 10 columns. If I you add all the 10 columns and I uniquely identify the data, that 10 column combination is a super key. But suppose only 9 columns gives me the data. Only 9 columns also gives me the data. It means that is candidate key. 
eight columns that is also a candidate key seven candidate key six column again is a candidate key five columns now i'm getting two rows now there is no key so there is multiple candidate key possible into it till here now tell me here i'm stopping now anybody any confusion on the concept of candidate key and super key till here super key is the actually super his name is super all the keys are subset of super key if i'm talking about primary key if i'm talking about unique key if i'm talking about alternate key if i'm talking about candidate key these all are subset of super keys till here any confusion so super no, key no. will have always all the columns sorry super key will have always all the columns is up to you Super key is whenever we create a table. Okay, that's a good question, Sagar. Sometimes people ask me the question, they say, how to create a super key? Just like the question coming, how to create a primary key, how to create a unique key. And the question is, how to create a super key? Super key we are not creating. It's a concept. We are not creating a going to key that create alter table, alter table, table name, add constant super key. We are not creating super key. Super key is a concept. Super key is a concept which is saying that any call number of column combination which i'm able to give only one record that i am calling is a super key this is a, this is a concept of super key this is called a super key is yes. till you understand now till here super key even ca even candidate key also same like same thing only right every keys are same super key candidate key primary key unique key alternate key surrogate key composite key when i'm talking about any key key means which is used to uniquely identify the data now i'm going to make a difference between all of them what is super key super key means super key means what super key means what all the column combinations are coming super key suppose i can make one column less still i'm getting only one row that is a part of suppose for example see this in this query where is it sorry in this query i'm writing and last name is equal to this and email is equal to this and had it is equal to this let me let me show you record everyone with example i have to identify a record into the table right i wrote a query like this i select a star from my employee table where my condition is where department that is equal to 90 and Manager is equal to 100 and salary is equal to this and job ID is equal to this and first name is equal to this and last name is equal to this and email is equal to this and hide it is equal to this. I'm writing so many combinations, right? Just to find out who is my unique record. When I'm using so many combinations, you can see that how many combinations I'm using here. Let me let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can write more. I can write and commission is equal to commission is null and phone number is equal to this and employer is equal to this and whatever I can use. But just take an example. These eight column combination used to uniquely identify the data. I mean, these eight column combination called a key. Now maximum how many columns? Suppose all the columns is here. I all the combination I can call you are a super key. Super key is the main key. All keys are subset from here. Now, suppose out of these eight columns, if I remove this column, I'm using only seven column combination. Still, my query give me unique records, right? It means this seven column combination called a candidate key. Suppose I remove this seventh column as well. Now, only I'm using with this six column. Still, I'm able to get unique records. Even this six column combination is called also another candidate key. We can have multiple candidate key into the table. Suppose I remove this last name again i am getting the same unique record this five column combination also called a candidate key till you understand everyone any doubt about super key and candidate key only table have only one super key and uh, more than uh, uh candidates yes. candidate keys right yes we have multiple candidates key means which can able to uniquely identify the data that is called key simple right anybody ask a question key may give many unique records as well he will not give me many unique. When I'm talking about unique, unique is not many. Unique is only one. Right? Yes, Pawan, I know I have to go a little bit slow, Pawan, but I understand it. But my first fourth, fifth lecture, this is my third lecture. That's why I'm yeah. giving you the concept a little bit fast. I totally agree. I understand it. I will try my best. Don't worry. 
ओके सर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन कैंडिडेट की वन सेकंड ओके सो की मींस व्हाट व्हेन एवर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट की की मींस व्हाट हु कैन ओपन टू यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई द रिकॉर्ड हु कैन ओपन द लॉक दिस इज कॉल्ड की की मींस ऑल कॉलम कॉम्बिनेशन टिल आई एम गेटिंग वन रो इज कॉल्ड की फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इफ आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग ओनली दिस फोर कॉलम कॉम्बिनेशन रिमूव फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस these four column combination i am getting multiple record but you can see two rows it means this is not a key key means who can give you only one record so now i am adding few more conditions for example i am adding these conditions or if i am adding all these combination i am getting one record so these column combination can give me one value so this is called a key all column combination super key suppose i remove this column hide it still i am getting only one only one row means this column combination also give me one row so this is called candidate key if i remove this one i am still getting one row this is also called a candidate key understand till here everyone candidate key super key combination anybody ask like uh, how many candidate keys i have this table as many candidate candidates key till i am getting you till till i am getting one row unique value i am you removing this one too i am getting again unique value This calls candidate key. Nobody asks you how many. They ask you the concepts. What is the concept of candidate key and unique key? Uh, sorry, you candidate key and super key. Key means remember one line Narish. Key means who can use to who open the lock. Uniquely identify the data is the key. Super key suppose all column combination if I use and my query give me unique values. It means this all column combination is a super key. Super key. and all other keys like primary key candidate key unique key i'm going to discuss in few minute they all are a what can i say subset of super keys they all are subset of super keys candidate key means what out of super key if i remove one two columns still i am getting a unique number of records unique number of uniquely identified data it means all this is called a candidate key a table can have multiple candidate key possible understand till here I have one question. Can I ask? Yes, sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Right now, you remove last name, na. So it might be possible that with the first name having name as a uh, Nina, there can be two candidate as well. So yes. it can give multiple records as yes, well. Yes, that is not primary key. It is not any key. For example, primary key. It is not a key. It is not okay. a key. Got it. Yeah, just like suppose yeah. suppose i am using only these three column combination i am getting two rows so these three column combination is not a key that's it there is no need to get confused until i am getting one row that is called a key key means uniquely identify the data no confusion straight forward one line pure definition till my column i am using and give me one data one row it means it is called a key This class looks many of the people can think Vishal is talking about keys, primary key. ये तो मुझको आता है. Don't think like this. If you are there in the class today, I can guarantee you learn a lot of things. Okay. Sure. If you read the same book two times, three times, every time you are getting something new. Yeah, Prakash, ask a question. Uh, so super key means all the combinations of the column should be there, right? That is super key. Yes. And if there is uh, like uh, after uniquely identify uh, at row. correct mm -hmm. if something mm -hmm. still i am getting a unique concept. data is see prakash these all are concepts you in a table you are not going to create a, just like we are creating primary key i am discussing in few minutes we are creating primary key we are going to create unique key we are going to create foreign key in the same way we are not going to create super key we are not going to create candidate key these are concepts which you must know that when i am talking about key it means what when we are talking about key it means the few column combination which i am able to get a unique num unique record that is called key okay so Got we won't create, uh, yes so we won't create uh, ca candidate key and super key it's a combination we only, are right this is a concept right that okay. you understand that when i'm talking okay. about key it means i am talking about uniquely identification of data okay okay understood understood got it got it sagar you raise your hand yes your question pick uh yes so my question is with respect to this table i understood it but uh, uh, it will be possible also where one of the table will have only i mean finding a un unique record 
where we will not have many candidates key on and there will be only super key and one candidate key right i mean it depends on the table and yes that is possible what is yeah. key see there is nothing like super key there is nothing like candidate mm -hmm. key when whoever is able to uniquely identify that, that is called a key simple now yes, the concepts it. are coming from super key candidate key primary keys it is a subset of that let's go to another example then you all understand more better for example it here in the same example i gave here right few minutes before right same example i give you let's go to that example one more time i'm talking about suppose the name vishal okay and i say that the teacher said that vishal is scored 50 out of 50 and in the class there are three vishals available right vishal jaiswal vishal gupta and vishal singh and you don't know who is the vishal because teacher told that math vishal is scored 50 out of 50 you are not able to uniquely identify right but suppose think example teacher come in the class and teacher say role number 34 role number 34 is used to uniquely identify the data so sorry role number 34 is scored 50 out of 50 so teacher does not have to say that role number 34 vishal teacher does not have to specify even name role number is used to uniquely identify the data you already know that vishal jaiswal is scored 50 out of 50 because vishal jaiswal has a role number 34 agree everyone teacher no don't have to tell that role number 34 vishal teacher does not have to need vishal if teacher use these two column combination still teacher is used to uniquely identify the data that is called candidate key because teacher used two column combination and i'm getting unique record Vishal, role number 34, Vishal. Teacher is saying, role number 34 and Vishal, he scored 50 out of 50. You are getting unique data. That's correct. That is called uh, candidate key. But suppose teacher said only role number 34, that is scored 50 out of 50. Only this column is uniquely identify the record that role number 34 means Vishal Jaiswal. He scored 50 out of 50. That is that the minimum of candidate key is the primary key. The minimum of candidate key is the primary key. Means from here, I cannot make it less more. For in this example, till first, till here, Nina, this five column combination, this six column combination is a candidate key. This five column combination is also a candidate key. But when I make it four column combination, I'm getting two rows. Means minimum of these five column combination, when I'm getting one row, this is called primary key. The minimum of candidate key is the primary key, which you used to uniquely identify the data. Till here any confusion? Understand the definition? The minimum of candidate yes, is the primary key. Yes, Understand sir. Vishal, uh, Vishal, you saw the table, right? In that table, we can get the minimum of one row just by specifying the employee ID as well, right? Yes, we can. So, employee ID itself is a primary key, right? Yes. But how can we have more, more than one uh, columns as a primary key? Yes, we can. I mean, why, why not? We are discussing in a few minutes. Just wait for a few minutes. Okay. okay. When I finish this topic key in next 30 minutes, I can guarantee you all have knows everything about keys. Just wait for 30 minutes for keys topic finish. So till here we understand the role number 34 is the one column which is used to uniquely identify the data that this person is scored 50 out of 50, role number 34. Role number 34 is one column. It means that is called a primary key. The minimum of candidate key is the primary key which used to uniquely identify the data. Now see, the, the teacher go to the principal and say that in my class, there is a student named Vishal. He is called 50 out of 50. He, no, I'm sorry, because Vishal has multiple Vishal. So the, the principal knows, sorry, the teacher knows that if I have to uniquely identify, I have to say role number 34. So teacher told, tell to the uh, principal that role number 34 is called 50 out of 50. We have to give prize to that particular child. He is very good student. Principal say yes, okay. Principal announces from the office, role number 34, please come to my cabin. I want to give a prize. Teach, principal announces role number 34. Please come to my cabin. I want to give you a prize. In the school, if there are 10 standards going on, 
ग्रेड वन ग्रेड टू ग्रेड थ्री ग्रेड फोर ग्रेड फाइव ग्रेड सिक्स ग्रेड सेवन ग्रेड एट ग्रेड नाइन ग्रेड टेन एवरी ग्रेड हैज ए रोल नंबर थर्टी फोर द टेन स्टूडेंट रीच टू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफिस एंड टेन ओके यू आस्क बिकॉज ऑल द टेन स्टूडेंट हैव रोल नंबर थर्टी फोर सो प्रिंसिपल बट दे हैव टू गिव प्राइज ओनली टू दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर गाय हु इज रोल नंबर थर्टी फोर बट वॉट प्रिंसिपल अनाउंसेस रोल नंबर थर्टी फोर कम टू माई क्लास कम टू माई केबिन आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू प्राइज because teacher told him the roll number 34 is uniquely identified for teacher it is uniquely identified for principal it's a problematic so what the principal will add one more column roll number 34 from grade 6 roll number 34 grade 6 please come to my cabin i want to give a prize so here if you can see sagar the two column combination is used to uniquely identify the child roll number and grade these two column combination used to uniquely identify the child so because it is more than one that's why it is called composite primary key composite means more than one composite primary key now see the same example principal go to the district magistrate of the city and say that we have a science olympiad or math olympiad in my school grade 6 roll number 34 he scored 50 out of 50 we have to give a prize to that student is a very bright student so the district magistrate say okay on the next 26 january district magistrate announces okay on the jila collectorate office roll number 34 grade 6 please come to the jila collectorate office i will give a prize to that student he scored 50 out of 50 in science olympiad what happened in that district magistrate is one city in city contains suppose 100 schools all 100 schools has grade 6 and roll number 34 100 student reach to the district magistrate office to collect the prize So what the district magistrate will do? He will say, "Rule number thirty-four, grade six, Kendri Vidyalaya. Come to my cabin. Come to my office. I want to give a prize." Now he is using three columns: one, two, and three. If I use these three columns, then only I am get unique records. That is called a what? Composite primary key. More than one column when I use to identify unique record. That is called composite primary key. Understand till here, everyone. Yes. Right. Let's understand the concept. So, Let's understand it. Yes. So uh, it means uh, uh, candidate key also a composite key like uh, that is some concept wise right super key also. Yes. Super key means ten column combination. Suppose for example these ten columns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. I have ten columns in my table. Understand? I don't know why. Maybe I'm not able to make you more clear. But under under the very simple concept, key means who can open the lock. Key means who can open the lock. That is called a key. Right? If I use my query, all eleven columns and column one is equal to this, and two is equal to this, and three is equal to this, and four is equal to this, and I'm I'm getting a unique records. These eleven eleven column combination is called super key. If I remove one column, I use only ten columns. For example, I am still getting unique records. This is called candidate key. If I am using only nine columns, I still get the same records. One record uniquely identified. That nine column combination is also called a unique candidate key. Eight column combination, I still call a candidate key. Seven column combination. Still call a candidate key till I am getting one row. If I use six column combination, I am getting two rows. It means this is not a key. Seven column combination is the minimum combination when I am able to get a unique record. So these seven column combination is the minimum of candidate key that is called primary key. But because there are multiple columns one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that is called composite key, composite primary key. Understand now? That's the best example I can give. What is the difference between primary and composite? I couldn't get it. There is no difference in primary and composite. There is no okay. difference in any key. Try to understand the concept. What is key? Key means who can open the lock. Primary key, candidate key, super key, surrogate key, whatever it means, you can use to uniquely identify the data. The minimum of candidate key is primary key. The minimum candidate key means you understand everyone what is candidate key. Karthik, you understand what is candidate key? Yeah, I what is candidate key okay so when i go to the minimum candidate key means if i use less than seven column combination i am getting two rows if i am using my query till column 
where one is equal to this, this two is equal to this, three is equal to this, four is equal to this, five is equal to this, six is equal to this. I'm getting two records. It means this is not the key. But when I'm using seven records, I'm getting one record, one row. It means this seven column combination, it will give me one row that you can call candidate key first. But minimum, this is the minimum. If I make it less than seven, I'm getting two records. So the minimum of candidate key, that is called primary key. Now, why I'm calling it composite primary key? Because more than one column is involved here. To make it uniquely identified, one column. When, whenever more than one column involved, it is called composite primary key. The same so example I give two minutes before, if you see that in the class, a teacher come and say that role number 34 is scored 50 out of 50. Only one column that is used to uniquely identify, that is called primary key. Uniquely identify the data. Teacher say role number 34. All the student knows who is role number 34. They know this Vishal is called 50 out of 50, primary key. But when the same teacher go to the principal office, he cannot say role number 34 because in the school there are 10 classes, 100 classes going on. What principal has to say? Role number 34, grade 6. Grade 6. This two column combination used to uniquely identify the record. So that is called composite primary key because there are two columns. More than one column, it means composite primary key. Simple. When so it goes to the candidate key. Right? Sorry. So that is also a candidate key, right? Ah, bhai, candidate key. Two confuser. Oh, sab same hai. More than Why you get confused? Right? All keys are same. Again, what I'm what I'm telling you, all keys are same. Key means key. Either I'm talking about uh, when I started this session, I tell you 90% of the public get confused that what is candidate key, what is super key, what is primary key, what is alternate key, what is surrogate key. People think they are different. They are not different. They all are came here to uniquely identify the data. They are not different. They are same. Maximum okay. super key. If I make it one, one less until I'm getting only one row, candidate key. The minimum of candidate key is a primary key. More than one column is called composite primary key. That's it. Okay, that that is fine. Uh, so candidate al key also uh, many uh, like uh, that is also same, right? Composite key and candidate key. It is similar, right? They all are similar. More than, Let more me write it here. Let me write it see here. Key is equal to super key. Is equal to candidate key. Is equal to primary key. Is equal to unique key. Is equal to uh, alternate key. Is equal to surrogate key. They all are similar. They all are used to uniquely identify the data. Now, where is the difference comes? Difference comes on the concept basis, Prakash. Difference come on the concept is what difference coming on the concept? That super key, all column combinations. Suppose I can, my table contains 10 columns. If I make all 10 column combination and getting one row, super key. If I use only nine column combination, still getting one row, candidate key. Eight column combination, still getting one row still also called a candidate key multiple candidate key possible seven column combination is still getting one row candidate key six column combination i'm getting two row so this is not a key so okay seven column combination i'm getting one row so minimum of seven column combination so that is called primary key the minimum of candidate key primary key but because but because these are seven columns means more than one columns so that is called composite primary key understand till here now prakash Yes, and, uh, that, yes, that means understand. until eight columns that uh, so that is composite key. That is what you are saying. Right? Two two uh, two unique two columns that we are used to uniquely identify a row. Yes, right? when I used more than one columns to use uniquely identify, so that is called composite primary key. Now, what is the difference between composite primary key and candidate key? I am coming in two minutes. There are a little bit difference in all about the concepts. Now let's talk about the same thing, right? It's called, there is one more combination people get confused. That is called surrogate key, right? What is surrogate key then? What is surrogate key? Okay. Forget about database for a few minutes. How many of you know about this term surrogacy? Have you heard this term surrogacy? Yeah, surrogacy means yes. someone will be carrying baby on behalf of someone, yes, right? Yes, 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 right. Right? Everybody know about Saru Khan? He became a surrogate parent. Silpa Sethi became a surrogate parent. Karan Johar became a surrogate parent. Right? I Sunny Yoni became a surrogate parent. What is why we are going for surrogacy? When a husband and wife 
is not able to make a child, so we have an option that you they can go for surrogacy. Agree? Simple? Everybody know about it? Yes. Simple, simple right? Sim this is simple, right? Everybody knows, right? When a husband and wife is not able to make a child, then they can go for surrogacy. You know, in surrogacy, what we can do? In surrogacy, you can decide the gender that do you want a boy or you want a girl? You can decide in surrogacy. You can decide in surrogacy that do you want my suppose I suppose take an example. I want a girl child. So I want my girl child, her eyes will be green, her hairs will be curly. I can decide. If I want, she would be fair enough, blue eyes, curly hairs, right? Whatever I want, I can decide by using surrogacy. Surrogate key, same thing. Surrogate key, same thing. What is surrogate key? Which is not a key, means which is not, because what is surrogacy in here? Surrogacy, this child which is born is not carrying the DNA of father and mother both. He or she is not carrying the DNA, but suppose I don't have a child and I want that somebody can take care of my family, so I can I go somewhere in a and suppose adopt a child and I say okay now I am adopting you and now you are X Y Z Jaswal, I am adopting you. I adopted you and give you my name. Now because of you of your name you came to my family. Now my whole next my whole generation will be decided by you because you came to my family. Same surrogate key. When a table does not have a column which is used to uniquely identify the data, when a table does not have a column which is used to uniquely identify the data, then we can artificially populate that column by using identity column, or you can you can say sequence, or you can say uh, auto generate. By any way, I am populating that column artificially that is called surrogate key whenever this question comes surrogate key very 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 popular question always try to give different answer give this answer of surrogacy you cannot find this answer anywhere in any anywhere in, on the books or any google try to know how to answer you have to understand your concept surrogate key has no business meaning for example take an example i go to hospital okay Take very simple example. I go to hospital and say that I want to, I have some problem and he, he make an appointment with the doctor. My name is Vishal. Maybe there are multiple Vishal in the table in, in the hospital. They can come. Vishal Jaiswal. Multiple Vishal Jaiswal can be possible who are coming. Suppose I'm from Noida. Maximum people name Vishal Jaiswal Noida can be possible at who can came to the hospital. So hospital will do, hospital will assign, everybody know, I, I hope everybody went to the hospital, right? So when you go to the hospital, hospital will assign a patient ID to you, patient ID and say, okay, suppose I'm going to Apollo, A-P-O-L-O-1-2-3. Whenever I'm talking about A-P-O-L-O-1-2-3, Apollo-1-2-3, it means Vishal Jaiswal from Noida. This is not my identity out of this particular Apollo hospital. But once I go to the Apollo hospital, everybody will be identified when the when any suppose the hospital that nurses or the doctors or lab assistant, what they say, where is the file of Apollo 123? Where is the patient Apollo 123? Apollo 123 in which room? This is used to identify me. Yet where is this patient? This is generated by the hospital artificially. Apollo 1 to 3 is not my identity, but hospital generated this identity to identify me. That is called surrogate key. Surrogate key means what? Which is generated artificially. Understand the concept. Generated artificially. Just like here. And you know the best part is what? Here we can 100% guarantee there is no duplicacy possible. Just like I tell you, in surrogate, in surrogacy option, 100% guarantee I know that I want a boy or I want a girl. I know that I want a curly hair or a straight hair. I know I want a brown eyes or I want a green eyes or I want a blue eyes. I know I decided all these factors before the child birth. Because surrogacy gives me an option that I can control that. Same way, surrogate key gives an option that I can control what is my primary key is, what is the next number will be generated and there is no guarantee the generator will be duplicate. The people who don't know sequence, that's okay about it. When I discuss about sequence, I will let you know that the people who know about sequence, sequence is the one way to generate a surrogate key.
sequence dot next value that will never come duplicate understand everyone and we know it is coming with after one after two after three till here agree everybody yes we shall yes we shall everybody we, right we shall we shall i have a question it means uh, this uh, this number is system generated or what? yes system generated in which database you are working every database has something like suppose postgres sql that have serial oracle sequence right uh, micro ms sql auto generated or identity column these all are automatically generated 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 automatically generated which is used to uniquely identify the data and the record is not duplicate id is equal to 30 only one record in the table is id is equal to 30 it means what which is used to uniquely identify the data that is called what that is called surrogate key because surrogacy in what surrogacy i can control the birth of a child surrogate key i can which is auto, and one more thing this particular child which is coming from surrogacy or for example i adopted from somewhere it does not contains my dna it does not contains my dna i adopted him or her to say that now you are my child does not matter that it's contain my dna or not but now it's my child because i adopted you i give you my name that you are xyz as well now you used to uniquely identify my family my generation same way surrogate key surrogate key this particular column has no business meaning but in this table this is used suppose this is used to uniquely identify the data suppose let's take about sn number in us it is called sn number in india we have pan number or aadhaar number that is your uniquely identification whenever talking about pan number it means uniquely identify there is only one person this pan is this and his name is prakash or amit or sagar or udit or karthik anybody your pan number is fixed aadhaar number is fixed there is no two people have the same aadhaar number or same pan number in the same way in us sn number is fixed that is prime this is my own unique identity but i cannot give uh, what you can say my my sn number to everybody so what they will do they will generate a number for me just like i go to hospital they generate a hospital and give me a patient id so when i go to a store a store give me a unique number suppose okay you can go to macd everybody go to macd or any other store in india we can see so many uh, kiosk where you go and try to take token the token person will give you token 101 in that particular whole crowd on that day only you have 101 when they when the server say 101 order ready only you are going to take the order 101 is not able to uniquely identify who is 101 is not Odith. but 101 at that point of time it means this order of Odit. uniquely identify the order of you that 101 is called a surrogate key understand till here what is surrogate key surrogate key eventually having a sequence right if I'm talking about Oracle, if you're talking about another database, just like you go to PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL is what? Oh. Serial column. Used to okay. uniquely identify the data. It automatically populated. When we learn about sequence and all, you can go on that topic. What we are learning? We are learning keys. So focus on keys. Don't focus on sequence. Focus on keys means here, what is surrogate key? Surrogate key in any column that can be declared as a primary key instead of a real primary key. That is declared as a primary key. Always seen in, into the interview, artificially generated. Surrogate key is not derived from your application data. Surrogate key is some a sequential number outside of the database that we can make it available to the user and the application to act and uniquely identify the data. We can say that when we don't have a natural primary key, it means when I don't have any column in the table which is used to uniquely identify the data, then we can create a surrogate key which uniquely identify the data. And now let's come to a very tricky question. This question is for all the people with more than six year experience. Please focus on this question. This is called the basic concept question. When you're not able to give these answers, you are not selected. If you want me to write on a stamp paper, I can write on a stamp paper. That if you're not able to answer any basic question, does not matter how good you answer write SQL queries, does not matter how good you answer procedure function packages and performance tuning. But if you're not able to answer basic concept, you are not selected. That is guarantee. Okay, let's see the conceptual question here. We discuss that when my column, suppose my table, 
contains multiple columns. Take an example. Suppose this table, HR dot employees. For a time being, forget about employee ID. There is an employee ID column. Forget about it. Okay. See this table. This table. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Suppose this is the table. My table contains this data. This is my table data. First name, last name, email, phone number, hired eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns. There is no as such column which is uniquely identify the data. One column combination is not able to uniquely identify the data. There is multiple Steven name can be possible. Two people has Steven, two people has name, two people has first name, last name combination also possible, not possible. Maybe, for example, somebody can say, sir, if I use super key, I can use five columns, six column combination. Can I use this five column combination? I'm used to you, I'm getting uniquely entered call. Means if I if in my query, I can use where first name is equal to this and last name is equal to this and email is equal to this and phone number is equal to this and hide it is equal to this. If I use this five column combination, I'm getting unique record. It means this five column combination is a minimum candidate key, which is able to identify me the unique value. Minimum candidate key means this is a primary key. Or more than one column, you can say composite primary key. So Vishal, why we are, this is a very, 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 very important question for more than six year experience, please. Why we are generating a sequence? Or we are generating a surrogate key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why not we can use a combination of first name, last name, email, phone number, hired it, this five column combination to uniquely identify the record. The people who are working in a project, real time scenario, most of you are working already. In your project, the, you can see any table. Go and open any table. They, your All of the table contains an ID column that is populated through sequence. Give me answer, yes or no? Yes. 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 Right. Why not your developer or your database architect or your product owner? They why not they can use three four column combination to uniquely identify the data rather than they will create a surrogate key to uniquely identify the data. Have you think about it? Interview question is why not why why not we use composite primary key? Why not we use composite primary key and and we are creating surrogate key? Why? Why creating surrogate key looks easy option for us, and why not we are creating a composite primary key? More because, than it will, because it will check all the columns to fetch the records and uh, performance. No, that, 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 that's so, okay. That, that's not the problem. Performance and efficiency. Performance is so efficiency. Uh, duplication. Duplication. Okay. One more thing. See, duplication. You see the word. I'm, I'm just using that word also in, in the in the answer. Understand this here. Whenever we create, right? What is composite primary key? That we know. That composite primary key is what composite primary key means, right? More than one column. Whenever I use more than one column, that is called composite primary key. Suppose like here, if I'm using these five column combination, I can create a composite primary key. But once I create a composite primary key, there may be a guarantee, there may be a chances. That there are, suppose I can use first name, last name, date of birth, three column combination to use it to uniquely identify. There may be a possibility the first name, last name, date of birth can be more than one records are coming because user data, user can enter anything. You can't stop user. There's a possibility. But in case of surrogate key, we'll learn about surrogate key, surrogate key or called a synthetic primary key. It means it is derived, it is derived artificially and guarantee that there is no duplicacy, first of all. Second thing is, there is a possibility that any column can be null. In candidate key, null data allowed. Any one column possibly null. But when I'm talking about surrogate key, that column cannot be null. The main difference is, whenever we create a primary key, we can discuss it tomorrow in the session. But whenever we create a primary key, by default database, in most of the scenario, not by default, most of the scenario database will create an index on that column. Right? Once we, that is not always, but most of the like 90% of the case, you can say, whenever we create a primary key, database will create an index on that. Whenever we create an index, database has to maintain this index. Index this structure, balance tree structure. If you know about index, we learn about indexing all. Don't worry, that will come in very last of the lecture.
but here to your answer whenever we create a primary key or any key database will create an index maintaining the index of five column is a very time consuming task if any data inserted updated or deleted database has to maintain a lot to the index structure that will consume a lot of time to make it simple we are focusing to create a simple surrogate key which is a number column which is easy to manage and guarantee there is no duplicacy so because of that we are preferring to create surrogate key rather than composite primary key understand till here yes understand till yes. See? this questions are this concepts are very important and if you understand it till you will get you will came to know that how useful it is when you are working in a project that is a primary key we know that right we understand primary key again there is a, but again what i discuss about primary key and candidate key i discuss about one thing as i told you suppose this five column combination minimum of five column combination for example suppose this is the table contains how many columns for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i use all six columns to uniquely identify that is called all six columns that is called super key five columns combination used to uniquely identify that right also five is also uniquely identified right so i can say this is a subset is can call candidate key four column combination also i can use i can i can also call that as another candidate key three column also i can use is also called a candidate key two columns i am not getting uniquely called means minimum of these three columns so that is called primary key because this is three means more than one that is called composite primary key but there is a restriction of composite primary key is the composite primary key cannot accept null i am coming to that point in 2 minutes right before moving to that part let's discuss about unique key we missed then what the difference between unique key and primary key unique key and primary key they both are same the only very little difference in the primary key and unique key right this question is very common for people one year two year three year very common first difference is what there is only one primary key in the table everybody knows about it there is only one primary key in a table everybody know how many people knows yes. about it yes 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 no yes. 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 Okay. naresh udit mahesh they all are answer yes do you know naresh udit mahesh why there is only one primary key my question is my question is why Means maybe you read somewhere in the book, and you know Data that data should be unique, unique uh, because of that we mention primary key. Why there is only one primary key? Why not? Why can we we can't have multiple key identify the data? Unique key also uniquely identify the data. Surrogate key also uniquely identify the data. Candidate key also uniquely identify. We can multiple candidate key. They are uniquely identify the data. Super key uniquely identify the data. Alternate key uniquely identify the data. There so should be no need duplicates because of that we'll get in primary key. Primary key is very minimum column you are using. No, that's why I'm creating primary key. Oh, I'm discussing. If you primary use more than column, this is not. I'm discussing this answer. Primary key. For oh, one to many relationships and all, we need only. Exception. I'm discussing. The primary key does not allow duplicate and null value. Primary key creates a, a cluster index. So it, it is not always. It is not always. That, I will that gives that. a one record index. Okay, I discuss this in two minutes. Let's see this. Let's yes. go and go ahead. On, I'm coming in this particular topic. Whenever I'm talking about primary key and unique key, I'm going to talk about primary key and unique key. First of all, you know, for theoretical definition, there is only one primary key in the table. We have multiple unique key possible in the table, right? Primary key will not contain nulls value. That's the definition. How this? They all are key. But what the difference between all the keys? So primary key is the key who cannot contains null. Primary key not allow null. But unique key allow null, and in Oracle multiple nulls are allowed. In Microsoft SQL Server only one null allowed. But in Oracle multiple nulls are allowed because null is not null is equal to null is a wrong statement, and null is not equal to null is also a wrong statement. I am coming to that part too in two minutes. First, go to the understand the concept of unique key and primary key. Take an example. Suppose, suppose I am I have a car. Okay, and my car is stolen from my my garage. Take an example, driveway. My car is stolen. The thief stole my car and take it somewhere. What the first thing the the thief will do? The thief will go and change the number plate, right? 
number plate is used to uniquely identify that this is your car that is the primary key but after six months or somewhere sometime suppose you receive a call from police station that your car will be recovered please come and take your call back take your car back okay you can receive a call from the police station what happened okay sorry okay so what i'm saying okay so your car will be recovered so how the car will be recovered because they will change your number plate because other than number plate you have many other things which you use to identify just like your engine number your church's number in us you have called a win number win number in us we are using that will be uniquely identified by car is this is my car every car has a unique win number every car has a unique engine number every car has a unique church's number there are multiple things which are not duplicate but there are if there are multiple columns who are used to uniquely identify the data but we can choose only one so we choose one as a primary key and rest all is called unique keys rest all will call unique and a table contains multiple unique key but remember let's see let's let me create a table in front of you let's see i'm getting a table for example suppose i'm getting a table create table emp info how to create it primary key and all i just write go right here id that is number column suppose i'm writing it here employee name that is by card to 20 i'm calling here department id i'm calling a number this is a simple table i just go and write it here primary key this become primary key when i create it primary key it means there are something going now i can't insert duplicate i can't insert any duplicate or null see i'm writing insert here insert into emp info values suppose i'm writing here one comma employee name suppose anything comma department id support 23 i'm trying to insert the data one row insert into the table i'm going writing select star from emp info I can see my table contain this record again i'm trying to insert another record but this one is same this one is primary key primary key may never duplicate i try to insert this already one exists it will give me error unique constant violation something is violated this unique constant we'll discuss constant tomorrow but understand it here the primary key will create a constant a rule that this duplicate is not allowed id is one one you already insert into the table you try to insert one again it gives me other than one if i insert here two the data inserted successfully two that is called primary key let's see this here in the same table i make it drop table i make a change here i'm creating here just i'm writing here unique when i write it here unique u and i i'm writing unique this become unique key now see i'm writing inserting a record to my table contains the data see here i'm trying to insert here one but here trying to insert 66 again now this is department id i make it unique it behave like primary key 66 is already present i try to insert a 66 it gives me error and see the same error unique constant violation primary key unique key both are same they use the same thing to check the data duplicate is not allowed data duplicate is not if i change it to 67 the data will be inserted into the table inserted one more see if you see this here i can make it null i try to insert null into the primary key that is the main feature of the primary key primary key not allow null cannot insert null primary key not allow null value but suppose the same null i want to insert into the unique key unique key allow null values data inserted see this here now again in the same record i want to insert one more null for example five null one more null inserted now this question come into the interview right or understand the concept of null here see this column is unique key it means unique value duplicate not allowed 67 if i try to insert for example here 66 it will give me error because it go and check into the table and find 66 already exist 
So again, it's not allowed to insert. But null, I can insert multiple nulls. That is only in Oracle. In Microsoft SQL Server, only one null is allowed. Oracle, you can insert multiple nulls here into the table. You can see that here. Why multiple nulls? I This concept is a little bit changed in SQL Server. I don't know why. Because SQL Server also not find null. SQL Server also says that null is not equal to null. Null means, not, null means, I don't know. Null means not zero. Null means which is undefined unknown. Null is undefined unknown. Anybody can tell me what is 5 plus 3 means? 5 plus 3 equal to what? 8. 8. 5 minus 3 is equal to what? 2. Two. How do you know that? Because you know what is 5. You know the face value of 5. How are you able to give this answer 8 correct? Because you understand 5 means this. And then you can say, okay, plus 3 more. So you know what is 5, you know what is 3. But I am talking about null. Null means undefined unknown. If anything, if I use here null plus 3, that become null. If I use here null minus 3, that also become null. Null is not equal to null. Null equal to null is a wrong statement. Null is not equal to null, that also a wrong statement. Null is undefined unknown. If I see here, I am writing here select 5 plus 3 from dual. It will give me answer 8. Because you know 5 and 3 become 8. But I'm writing a 5 plus null. It will give me null. Anything added or subtracted. Anything added or subtracted to null become null. Null is undefined unknown. We don't know the value of null. In primary key, null is not allowed. In unique key, multiple nulls are allowed. Why multiple nulls are allowed? Because whenever we try to insert an external, database always go and evaluate. Because of unique key combination, database will go and evaluate. Does this data exist? Null, try to compare with null. Null equal to null is fail. Null equal to null, we can't compare null equal to null. So data cannot pair. When we cannot compare, null is undefined unknown. We don't know the value of null. For example, let's see this one more record. Select a star from hr.employees where department underscore id is equal to 100 sorry 90 we can see here record there is a manager id is null if i'm writing here and manager underscore id equal to null this is null this is null null and null we cannot compare it will give me no data i can see there is a data exists where manager id is equal to null but null i cannot compare Equal to means what? Equal to means what? Whenever talking about equal to, let's see this data. Whenever talking about equal to, equal to is a seesaw, right? Going to, into the park with kids, we can see the seesaw. Here, if there are two kids, here are two kids, seesaw is equal. If here become three kids, the seesaw become like this. Equal to means whatever in left hand side that must be equal to right hand side. I am writing manager ID is already null into the table. I am trying to compare null equal to null. Null equal to null is a wrong combination. Null is undefined unknown. We don't know. I can see there is a null, but I cannot compare. When writing null equal to null, it will say there is no record. How can I make it? I can write manager ID is null. When I am writing is null, then I am able to compare it. I am able to get the data. Okay, who asked the question? Ask your question. Karthik Ganesh, ask your question. You raise your hand. Is, is null and empty the same? Sorry? Is null and empty value means the same? There is no data means it is also null or it is somewhat different? Empty, you are saying. Empty, yeah. Yeah, this is null. Nothing is there. Okay. Nothing null means there is not also... zero. Remember this. Null means okay. not zero. Null means not space. Okay. It's not a space. Null means null, completely null. There is nothing. Undefined unknown. We don't know the value of null. When we we'll, we'll start writing SQL, we learn about order by. When you go to the order by, then you can say how null will be. Remember this one thing. It does not matter what topic we are going to learn. Null is always come to you. And null is definitely you get one question on null. Either it is related to your function, your procedure, your case, your order by, your writing SQL, your exception handling, your performance tuning, your indexing, null will come always. So understand the basic concept of null is, the basic concept of null is that null is undefined unknown. We don't know the value of null. 
If we don't know the value of null, we don't know how to compare it. Now see the question of go, go again, go back to the main topic, primary key and unique key we're discussing, right? The table contains multiple unique keys. Suppose I'm dropping table. I'm trying to create one more primary key. Put ID underscore one. I'm writing primary key. Let's see what happened. It gives me error. Table can have only one primary key. That is concept. Why only one? I'm discussing in two, three minutes. Only one primary key. But suppose I want to create it unique. A table can have multiple unique key that is possible. Table created. Table can have multiple unique key, but only one primary key. Primary key will not accept null value. Unique key will accept null values. Basically, if you're talking about unique key, unique key means what? Or primary key means what? Primary key means unique key plus not null. That's it. If I just unique key, I add one feature that you should not null. So your primary key start behaving like unique key. Sorry, unique key start behaving like a primary key. If I make a unique key with an extra thing that there is no null allowed, it means that unique key start behaving like a primary key. Because only difference primary key unique key is what? Primary key allow, does not allow null values. Unique key allow null value. Now there is a question coming in interview, right? For more than five, six, six year experience. That you are creating a table, right? This scenario based question. You are creating a table. In a table, I have multiple columns which is used to uniquely identify the data, right? Suppose there are two columns. In a table, suppose I have employee table, there are two columns, X and Y, or for example, as PAN number and Aadhaar card. PAN and Aadhaar. The people on India, they understand it, PAN and Aadhaar. If I'm talking about US, take an example, your SN number and your driving license number, right? Both numbers. They both are uniquely identify you. The question is, to whom you create a primary key, to whom you create a unique key? Interview question, I have a table. My table contains a PAN and other. My table contains an S and a DL or any two column. Forget about these two. Interviewer can say a table contains column A and column B. Both are used to uniquely identify. How do you decide that who is primary key, who want to create as a primary key, and who you want to create as a unique key? Because you say both are same. You are saying the only difference is the primary key can have only one unique key or multiples. Primary key is not allow null and unique key allow null. That's it. So how do you decide that who is primary key, who is unique key? Take an example. Suppose I am driving a car, okay, or you are driving a car, and you jump a red light. You jump a red light. Thank God there is no police wala, right? and nobody saw you you go to home you reach your home successfully after a few days you receive a mail that you have to pay the fine of this much amount to the rto office or dmv office in us it is called dmv in india it is called rto office that you have to pay this much of fine because you jumped a red light you can see there is a picture will coming your car number plate is there and maybe you can also can see this here how do they know how do they know that this is you who actually jumped the light because when you jump the light they scan your license plate number your license plate number is used to uniquely identify you your license plate number used to uniquely identify you. the rto office or dmv office they must have record that this car is belong to vishal he is living here. this is address this is phone number just send him it is not possible that same car number, some I'm driving in Virginia, somebody driving in California, somebody driving in Phoenix, somebody driving in, suppose, Chicago. It is not possible. Car number is unique. That no, who is driving? So challenge goes to only that person who actually driving that car because the number is unique. In US, we can even choose what the number we want. I can go to the website, to the DMB website, right and i can make my login and i try to choose any number whatever i want i can choose that my car number is one one two two three three i can choose that number but when i go and choose this number and click a submit button it go and check the database does that number exist previously or not if that number exists previously it will not assign me this number it gives me error one number assigned to only one person same primary key unique key concept say so example right dmb has multiple options IT office is multiple option. They can use my win number. They can use my title number. 
they can use my engine number they can use my chassis number but out of them they choose my license plate number as a primary key rest all as a unique key so the question is here to all of you how do you decide then which column is a primary key which column is a unique key this question asked in one of my batch people right so understand it here when this question comes primary key unique key sir if I have both the tables were used to uniquely identify and I have to decide who is primary key, who is unique key, I will first prefer to the data structure and see is there any possibility in future? Is there any possible because I created a table, data comes from application. Is there any possibility in future then there is a null value can be possible? Because unique key allow null. If suppose out of these two columns, any column possibility have null in future, then I can create that column as a unique key and other column as a primary key. Interviewer can say no, both are not allowed null. That's sure, both are not null. So both are not null, then I will prefer number column as a primary key. Why prefer number column as a primary key? Because of indexing. So I, when I discuss index, I will let you know. But understand now, I will prefer, it's not always that this is what we have to do, but I will prefer number column as a prime, because now primary unique both are same, if not allow null. I will prefer number column out of them, who is number, if A is number, I will make this as a primary key, other column as a unique key. In reverse, say both are number. Then you can, then you can create any one of them as a primary key, that doesn't matter, because then both are behave same. That is called how to choose primary key and unique key. And suppose the same question, let's come and compose it primary key. Anybody ask anything? Yes, Karthik, ask a question. So for an example, you told me that there is PAN and other, other number. So in case mm -hmm. of the other number, we can give as a primary key and PAN, PAN card, you can give it as a unique key. That's Whatever you want. Both are same. Only difference both is what? That they are not other, allowed. Right? That's it. First, if I make a asked. unique key with not null constraint, if I make okay. a unique key that there is no data null is coming, it means that become a primary key. Okay, so other means combination like only numbers will come, but pan means it will be having a variable character like a numeric plus character. So you it said depends. like yeah, yes, yes, right. Yeah. Okay. So you told like if it is a primary key, mostly we will prefer for a numeric item. So it's you better like prefer number. Item. There is a reason for it. This is not as a this is not thumb rule. There is a reason for it why we prefer. I said that we prefer number because it okay. will it will create a index on that. When I discuss index lecture, then I come to that topic. Okay. 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 Let's come back to the same composite primary key combination. Right? There is there is a question coming into there are two, three questions going to scenario based question I'm going to discuss in here. I'm getting a table. See this here. I'm getting a table. Create table supplier. And in this table, I'm getting first supplier ID. I'm making your number. I say you are not normal. See everyone this question. This question came multiple times in the interview. Supplier name. I'm saying you are Varka to 50. This question came multiple times on many interviews of so many people. Like take any name, suppose contact name. So I care to 50. I'm creating a composite primary key. Composite primary key means what we learn? More than one column. I'm creating more than one column as a composite primary key. Suppose I make a combination of supplier ID and supplier name. This combination I want to create a composite primary key. So how to create it? I'm writing a constant. Constant we'll discuss maybe tomorrow. Supplier underscore PK that any name you can give is it. Primary key, then basically a combination of supplier underscore ID, comma, supplier underscore name. When I do this, table created. In this table, interview question is, I have a table. See the interview question first time, let me tell you. Nobody will ask you to create a table. This ask chances minus 0%. Okay. They will ask you that I have a table. My table contains a composite primary key, supplier ID and supplier name. Composite primary key means what? What comes in your mind first time whenever you heard this word composite primary key, right? What happened, Karthik? I just started the question. Yeah, yeah, have a doubt. You told primary key can be assigned to only one uh, one column, but there are two columns, right? I, I have, have you joined this class in starting? We discuss about a composite primary key combination. Do you know what is composite primary key? Ah, uh, okay, I got it. Right, more than one column used to uniquely identify the data. It means composite primary key. Simple. 
if okay. more that's why i discuss one more scenario on the same topic when i discussing surrogate key i discuss a question that why we are creating surrogate key if i can make a composite primary key i discuss that okay. question as well that why we are creating surrogate key if we if we can create a composite primary key means multiple column used to identify the data then we, if you can do that then why we are creating surrogate key i can discuss that question as well okay i will send all the in the notes don't worry read the notes ask me questions i am here to help you all right you all and my, most of you join my sessions or join my group just from somebody references ask that person who referred you that what actually they learn from your sessions or whatever in group you have i have at least 17 groups in my whatsapp for the sequel maybe you are part of one two or three i normally don't allow more than one but most people who join earlier multiple groups part you have go and check that group ask in every group you can find the people who take my classes go and ask what you learn so when we go on the topic i'm again telling you i'm here for your help you have to go read the notes come to the class ask me one to one monday to friday i'm available here right and again i'm repeating only my sessions are enough to crack any interviews any means any right other than my notes you don't have to go to google if you just come to my class you focus how i'm telling you how to write sql you can write any sql any means any right okay so come it here when i'm talking about the question is i have a composite primary key composite primary key means what comes in your mind that this data supplier id and supplier name this combination used to uniquely identify composite primary key primary key means uniquely identify two columns it means these two column combination who are used to uniquely identify the data so that is composite primary key that's okay now the question is into we're asking i'm inserting this record insert into supplier values instead i am inserting data to common null let's see is this data inserted or not inserted this is the question in the interview if you see this data right this two is going to insert into supplier id column that is not null that is two correct this null data is going to insert into supplier name column that is null can be possible there is nothing defined as a not null you can insert null value that's okay this c is going to insert into contact name column everything is good looks good but you created a composite primary key supplier add in supplier name combination so and we know that every null is unique so if i inserted two common null or i insert three common null they both are different right they both are different because sorry two common null again this is also different because null is cannot equal to null. Null I cannot compare with null basically. It's a good line. Null we cannot compare with null. Question is can I insert this data? Let's see this. This question is very common asked multiple times in the interview. We cannot. We cannot insert null. Where? This column, this column can accept null values. But even I cannot insert null because now you be this supplier name is now a part of primary key. And whatever the concept of primary key, primary key not allow null values. This is the concept of primary key. So when you come to my family, you have to follow my culture. Remember in last class, we learned about this concept. When you come to my family, you have to follow my culture. So you as a supplier name came to my family. So now you have to follow my culture and what is my culture is i am a primary key so my culture is i am not allowing null value does not matter you are in null or not null but you cannot insert null in any attribute of your primary key understand this question this question is very very, very common understand this question yes one table have how many composite uh, primary keys only one or more than one only one this Oh, yeah. Primary key is only one primary key in the table. Does not matter. Composite means what? Composite means more than one column. That's it. If I don't have one column to uniquely identify, again, I'm telling you all. Key is a concept. Understand the keys. Keys means what? Who can use to uniquely identify? That is called a key. Key means who is used to uniquely identify the data. That is called key. We cannot have two primary keys. I mean, how can you ask this question? Primary key is only one primary key. How can we have two primary key supply add in? This is not two primary key. I think you missed the session. And I started, I said, composite primary key. Whenever more than one column used to uniquely identify the data, I give an example. Roll number 34, 
is one column which is used to uniquely identify that this student is score 50 out of 50. Only one column, primary key. When the teacher go to principal and principal want to identify this guy, principal say roll number 34 plus grade 6. These two columns combination used to uniquely identify the data. That is called composite primary key. He go to the district magistrate. The district magistrate is saying roll number 34 plus grade 6 plus Kendri Vidyalaya. Three columns he used to uniquely identify the data. That is called composite primary key. Composite means what? More than one. Pure English. Composite. More than one. That's it. Composite primary key is more than one. That's it. So there is no there is no need to get confused. Key means key, which used to uniquely identify the data. Again, again let me repeat all of you next two team reps. Key means key, which used to uniquely identify the data. First, I'm talking about super key. If I make my table contains 10 columns, if I use all the temp column combination to get one row, uniquely identify means what? One row. If I run my query, my give you my query give you one data. It means I'm talking about, it means what? If it means I'm talking about composite primary key. Sorry. My table give you only one data. It means I'm talking about the key. But all 10 combinations, super key. Suppose nine column combination, candidate key. 8 column combination candidate key, 7 column combination candidate key, 6 column candidate key, 5 column combination candidate key, 3 columns candidate key. Means till 3 columns, I am getting only 1 row. But I am using, suppose 2 columns, I am getting multiple rows. It means less than 3 we cannot go. So the minimum of candidate key, these 3 columns combination is called primary key. But because there are more than 1 column combinations, so that called a composite primary key. Because more than 1. But when you become composite primary key, so you cannot accept null. But in case of candidate key, that is allowed null. Candid, because this all the column combination is a candidate key. Supplier ID plus supplier name cost contact name. These three column combination call it, suppose, candidate key, uniquely identified. But in this column, I can insert null because it's a part of candidate key. In a part of candidate key, you can insert null. But as a part of primary key or composite primary key, you cannot insert null because it's the property of primary key. And primary key is saying what? When you come to my family, you have to follow my culture. And my culture is what? That we are not supporting null values. That's it. Done. Surrogate key, surrogacy. When a husband and wife is not able to make a child, they will go for surrogacy option. Means artificially generated artificially generated and that is unique just in case of surrogacy we know it's a boy or a girl same way it's coming here right it will give you uh, same option in case of surrogate key it is giving you uniquely identified there is no duplicacy guarantee for it yes karthik ask a question again yeah one small doubt actually so uh if, if i am creating like the syntax or something like that so if there is primary key and the composite primary key, like how to differentiate, like creating a syntax? Yeah. Like... More than one column is a composite primary key. Ah, okay. More, but there are two columns. If I just remove this, suppose, for example, in the same query where I go here, understand the concept. Again, you don't, you try to memorize. Don't memorize. I, why? What more easy answer I can give you? I don't know. Again, I'm telling you, I'm not a teacher. I try to help you with my experience, right? Maybe the teacher have uh, maybe a better, what you can say, examples. Composite and primary, they both are same. They all are same, same family, same DNA. Do you know what is DNA? What do you know what is DNA? DNA means, suppose like whatever my DNA, my DNA go to my child's. And what I can carry DNA from my father. They all are same, the same thing coming in my generation. They all are key. Key means same thing coming. They all are used to uniquely identify the data. This is in their DNA. If I make it only one column, let me let me drop the table. Let's see, drop table. Let's see this here. I'm getting again. Let's see this here. I don't know why you get confused here of composite. You know, you you understand English word, right? Composite means what? If I write here, you explain it very well actually. Yeah. Means what? Composite means means more than one, made of various parts of element. Pure English. Whenever you don't know anything or any con confusion in database, just try to write the, the exact meaning. Database is pure English. Composite means made of various part of it. More than one is coming, it means you are composite. Simple. In this table, if I just remove only one prime supplier ID, this is primary key. This is primary key. Only one column is here. If I just make it more than one column, comma, supplier name, that is also a primary key itself. 
It is okay. again called a primary key, but because this is more than one column, so this is called composite primary key. That's it, Karthik. There is no other confusion. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay. There is no other confusion. Simple, very simple, st straightforward. More than one composite primary key, but more than one means that you have to follow this. Both has to follow the culture. You came to my, you get go to some country. You have to follow their culture. You can go to Singapore. You cannot chew, uh, chew the chewing gums. You know that. You have to follow their culture. You came to US and UK, you cannot go and throw the bottle on the road. You cannot just eat a banana and throw the banana on the road. Why? You have to follow the culture. You come to my family, you have to follow my culture. You both are decided to come to part of primary key family. You have to follow the primary key family culture. The culture is what? That there is no null not allowed. Any attribute cannot contain null. But in case of candidate key concept, like this three column combination, if I can make, these three column combinations also used to create uh, uniquely identify. Here I can insert null into this contact name column. Why? Because candidate key allow null. Unique key allow null. Primary key not allow null. That is called. Let's go to one more concept question here on the primary key. Okay. Let's see this here. I have a table. This is a very good question. This question asked at least. This question asked in Amazon. This question asked in Meta. All the big companies, TCS, Infosys, these are all, these are the tier two companies. But everywhere you can find this question. This question is very common. Okay, scenario this question. The question is I have a table. Let me create table XYZ. Any number. Say this. Whenever you learn any topic, again I'm saying, whenever you learn any topic, again I'm trying to say, just go all the permutation and combination possible and make yourself so strong that when any question comes, you are able to talk. What do you think when you start giving answer that a primary key is key into the table, a surrogate key into the key into the interviewer will take 20 seconds to understand that you are actually memorizing the answer. Interviewers are not stupid, right? They know within 20 seconds that you memorize. Always try to talk with examples when we're talking. Surrogate key is a very common question. I'm again repeating to all of you. Surrogate key coming, right? When surrogate key will come. In the, in the question, right? You always have to answer that surrogacy option. It's just a simple story, but you are killing the time. What is the main fund of clear the interview? I told you in the last session, right? What is the main fund of clear the interview? That you have to kill 50 minutes. If you're able to play your best 50 minutes, nobody will stop your selection. Nobody. And you have to play with the interviewer. You have to force him to ask the question what he wants to ask. I don't remember the name, but in B22 batch, right, there is a girl, her experience was two years when she joined my classes, right? Few people are, you know, few people are so, uh, so deterministic that I want to join. Even the session going on, just like this going, I first three, four sessions I'm giving free. She paid me money in that session forcefully that we shall, I know that I have to do this class. I don't know whenever you send the mail to pay the money to your brother, but I want to pay him right now, right? Because maybe I can spend the money somewhere else, but I want to do the classes. And even I say no, but she talked to my brother and she paid money to my brother. I'm telling one story in B22 batch. She joined the class. She has two-year experience. Two-year experience means base concept in the interview. Base concept. She took only seven to eight classes of mine, or I think 10 classes, like 10 or 12 maximum, very less classes. Just we started SQL, right? She got placed. And once she got placed, if I have that chat, right, I will show the chat to all of you. I will send today. She told me that Vishal, I exactly follow what you said. I just force the interviewer to ask me what I want him to ask the question. She knows how to give interviews. Within 12 to 13 lectures, she got selected. Within 12 means we just started the session of B22. Because she knows how to answer. So just know how to answer. If you know how to answer, you can do anything. Let's see this scenario based question. Create table XYZ number. There is a table into the interview. Interviewer asks, I have a table. Draw table XYZ. I have a table XYZ. Right? This simple number table. There's no primary key. Whatever data you want, you can insert it. Insert into XYZ values. Suppose one. I'm inserted two, three times one. Inserted again, inserted one. Again, inserted one. Again, inserted one. I inserted many times one. Select the star from XYZ. My data contains duplicate value. My table contains duplicate value. 
this is the interview question i am telling you this question comes in facebook this question came to data right and amazon right and tcs infosys cognizant they all are just copy paste the questions from there so these all are coming everywhere interview question is i have a table in production see interview always try to make a story i am telling you 40 to 50 to 60 percent of the scenario based question 50 to 60 percent or more than that is totally based on basic concepts right only 30 to 40 maybe may a little bit trick but 50, 60 to 70 percent of the question right it always comes the basic concept scenario based question interval say i have a table in production my i have a table interval make a story that i have a table we are working with the client they are giving you millions of data and the data coming from different different sources we have oracle we have flat files we have external files they have to make a story just like vfx in south indian films simple they just want to make a story right that i have a table my table contains millions of data they are coming from different sources we have flat files we have external files we have temporary tables users inserting uh, gateway inserting api inserting forget about the story you just want to say that i have a table that contains millions of data in the production which contains duplicate data which contains duplicate data right i cannot delete existing rows understand the question I cannot delete existing rows because of business rules. Means, see, in the real time scenario, I'm telling in production, we can't delete the data. There are many rules into the production in every project. So we cannot go and randomly delete the record from the table. So he will say that in production, we cannot delete the data because of business rule. But somehow I have to prevent, somehow I have to, I have to, I have to prevent any further duplication forget about my english and my grammar mistake i have to pre prevent any further duplication of the data how to achieve it how interval question let me repeat the question one more time i have a table my table contains millions of data there are in that id column there are few duplicate data exist and i cannot delete the duplicate data because of my business rules what are the data in the table the data in the table i cannot delete the duplicate data when I, and so question is how we are going to prevent any i don't want like in this next release my customer wants the duplicate not allowed and i can't duplicate delete duplicate data so question is how to prevent further duplicacy if i want to insert one again next again one my data should not allowed and duplicate not allowed how to achieve it right so understand the question i hope everybody gets the question anybody any problem in not understanding the question ask me please no problem bhai kisne using row number partition by yaar ye to maine padhaya bhi nahi abhi i am again telling you one thing right so uh, let let me tell you one thing whenever i discuss one topic i never go and randomly start saying you here that let's me do it partition let me create a uh, what you can say performance tuning i don't want to make any impression to all of you when i going by the topic i will go by the topic right and we'll go to the topic right so let's see the question understand whatever i discuss i just go to that concept only we cannot insert a duplicate in this column in this column i don't allow duplicate data somebody just answers create a surrogate key that's correct but surrogate key, we can create an extra column, right? An extra column I can create as k underscore id. And that you can populate one, two, three, four, five. See, that's okay. Question is, I don't want in this column, I don't want duplicate data. When you don't want duplicate data, how to achieve it? Who can help you to achieving to not allow duplicate data? Only two things. Either your table is a primary key column or it's a unique key column. Only these two columns will will allow me to not insert duplicate data. Agree or not? Tell me here. Tell here. Yes. 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 Only yes. yes. duplicate. Only primary key or unique. Key. If my table is a primary key table, it means you can't. If, suppose if my this column is a primary key column, it means automatically you can't insert duplicate. That's it. Or if it is a unique key column, automatically you can't insert duplicate. But the problem is the table already created. And there is already duplicate data, and this is not a primary key. Then you can say, okay, sir, only primary key, unique key can make it. So let's make this column as the primary key. So when I try to make this column primary key, let's see what is happening. I'm writing alter table table name. We learn about constant more, but syntax is same. 
alter table table name i'm writing alter table x y z add constant constant name this is a syntax alter table table constant i will discuss more detail in tomorrow alter table table name add constant constant name so for i'm writing any name i'm writing pk underscore michal right then i'm writing here very primary key on id column i'm saying that go to this table and make this column as a primary key column. So alter table, table name, add constant, constant name, primary key ID. It means I'm trying to create an ID as a primary key. When this ID become a primary key, it means duplicate not allowed. But when I try to create a primary key, it will give me error. Cannot validate. Why? Because you want to create a primary key on this ID column. It means you try to say in this ID column, there is no duplicate. But actually, there is already a duplicate value. So all a duplicate value is already present into the table. It will give you answer cannot validate, primary key violated. So how to achieve it in primary key? So when we are creating primary key, right, we just have to add an option here, deferable, deferable, no validate. What is deferable? This question is very important. I will discuss foreign key tomorrow. But deferable means no validate means, understand here one line, whatever I did with you in my past, Please forgive me from right now. I am very loyal to you. Whatever I did with you, if I cheated you in the past, please forgive me from today. I am very loyal to you. So no validate is saying whatever I did in my past, please forgive me. Don't validate the thing. Don't give me and say me so many things and you know the bad words of whatever I did in my past. But now onwards, I am very loyal to you. No validate. When I created no validate, table altered primary key created now again i try to insert the record one it gives me error unique constant violation you can't insert duplicate data and my table contains duplicate already you can see this here so whatever data exists that data will be as it is i will not check any but further duplication is not allowed i want to insert two i want to insert one it gives me error primary key violation you can't insert unique constant evaluation you can't insert the data understand this Tell yes, you yes, okay. yes 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 back to the topic can i create two primary key can i create two primary key on the table this question is very common no can i no. create two primary key in the table answer no. is obviously no no but the answer to sub bhai obviously no that answer will be given by all 99.99 percent .99 public will give the same answer and how can you are different how the interviewer think that udit give a good answer or prabha give a good answer prag what happened you just started here tell me what happened uh, sir um unique key allow nulls unique key allow nulls yes i just gave an example multiple nulls big why because null is not compared to null. Do you have doubt? Do you want to create and insert it? Let's see this here. Yeah. Don't have, you can, you know, when this question comes, you know what you have to do after the class, try to create it. And let's see that Vishal teach this class, something is wrong, or maybe Vishal has a doubt, ask the question. Because I give this example two minutes before. Let me create one more time to you and see this here. I'm writing your ID number unique. I make a unique column. Let's see, I'm trying to insert here null. Insert into test. Values first, let me try to insert one. One time one, insert it. Next time one I don't, I want to allow, it gives me error, unique constant. I want to insert null, one time, insert it. Again, insert it. Again, insert it. Again, insert it. Again, insert it. You want to see the data? Select star from test. And why it is inserted every time? I already explained. So read my, so you can see multiple, I already explained, right? Video is also available on YouTube. Check that if you missed that particular topic. I just few minutes before I explained that why it is inserted null. Because when I try to insert null, it go and validate. When I try to, I give this example. I, I don't know how you missed either. You guys are not uh, taking care. Okay. When I try to insert one, it will go and validate. Do, does this one exist? Yes, one exists. I will not allow. But when I try to insert null, it go and check that this null exists. Null, I cannot compare with null. Null is an invalid statement. Null 
is not equal to null that also an invalid statement null is undefined unknown we don't know the value of null null means god do you know god no null means infinite do you know what is infinite infinite plus three become infinite infinite minus three that become infinite because if we don't know five plus three become eight because i know what is five i know what is three i know when they both meet it become eight null plus three null because i don't know null i already explained you can check that one again let's come to this question can i create two primary key on the table answer is obviously no everybody knows about it 99.99 percent .99 public knows that there is no two primary key but when this question comes how to answer you have to answer can i create two primary key? you can say no obviously no that we cannot create two primary key but we can but what we can mimic a secondary primary key we can mimic a secondary primary key by if by creating a unique key plus not null if i use a unique key plus not null combination that column start behaving like a primary key it means we can mimic it mimic means copy earlier right we can mimic it we can make a mimicry means we can mimic a concept of primary key by creating a unique key plus not null combination to behave like a primary key but it's not a primary key and one more thing right because and we can create index we can discuss about index but if we create a unique index also that also behave like a primary key but not a primary key but the question is why why my table cannot contains primary key why my table cannot contains two primary key if you all come from engineering background right the people who don't know come from engineering background that's okay for them maybe they don't know but the people who came from engineering background in semester four right means i learned in semester four 20 years before i'm expecting i don't know maybe before semester four do you all learn about normalization have you yeah. heard normalization in your class yeah. in your school yeah, yeah. Everywhere. We know first normal form. This is the school. In the in college, you learn first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, BCNF, fourth normal form. That all we learn. We are talking about in our database, RDBMS is by default tied to put into third normal form. This is our RDBMS. We are working on it. We learn about normalization. All the people, don't worry. But I'm giving you this answer. Why my table cannot contains? Why no two PK? We're going to discuss this. This is a concept of second normal form because for coming in third normal form you must satisfy second normal form for coming to second normal form you must satisfy first normal form what is second normal form second normal form is saying fully functional dependency what is fully functional dependency means second normal form is so saying fully functional dependency fully functional dependency means for example see this here suppose suppose a student id and suppose student class there are two columns in my table they are used to identify that who is the teacher these two columns used to uniquely identify the teacher I means these two column combination used to uniquely identify the teacher I mean, this is my my call what composite primary key more than one column used to uniquely identify the teacher if there are two columns used to uniquely identify the teacher it is not possible it is not possible to create it is not possible to alone student id is go and identify who is teacher and alone student class used to identify who is the teacher if you are doing this it means your composite primary key creation is wrong it means your concept of creating comp because why are we creating composite primary key to uniquely identify the data and we are saying that i create student id and student class these two column combination to uniquely identify the teacher it means it is not possible that student id alone can identify teacher and student name student class can alone identify teacher if it is doing it means our composite primary key is wrong so to satisfy fully functional dependency is called fully functional dependency these two are the fully dependent to identify a teacher i have to fully dependent on student id plus student class combination so this is why what the primary key concept is primary key is used to uniquely identify the data so when we already created this is used to uniquely identify data it means it is not possible that something else will be uniquely identify the data your pan card is unique that pan card is used to uniquely identify you if one pan card same pan card have two person it means there is some flaw to decide the pan card number there is some flaw to decide ascent number there is some flaw to decide other number if they used to identify more than one people. 
so to the concept of first normal, second, uh, primary case it comes from second normal form which is called fully functional dependency so we have to satisfy this that's why my database not allow more than one primary key into the table we learned about composite key and surrogate key already yes at what is composite key and why we are well, people can ask the interview composite key versus surrogate key what do you think what is preferable that can i create what i told you right that in the table i can use first name plus last name yeah. plus date of birth these three column combination i can use to uniquely identify the data can i do this or i can create a surrogate key just populate an id column one two three four which is better so remember this is a very controversial point never say that okay this is better i will do that always say that everything is a pros and cons there is a controversial point if my table contains a composite key it expected to contains in millions of rows and my index has to maintain first name last name date over and there's a possibility that data comes from user that maybe anything will be duplicate or null can and allowed but because i create a composite primary key so null not allowed so my data will record will be failed so because to avoid these scenarios we are prefer always use we are prefer to create a surrogate key rather than composite primary key okay that's all for primary key we'll create we'll do uh, foreign key tomorrow and foreign key i have around more than one and a half hour i will take only for the foreign key there are so many questions coming from the foreign key okay so that's all we can discuss tomorrow thank you so much for joining i will send the notes by maybe today evening thank you okay thank you thank you bye thank you thank you okay thank you thank you thank you sir bye yeah thank you sir bye bye you wish to bye Thank you.